It is a book of positive affirmations for children of color. Alicia Edwards is here this morning to tell us about her latest book, a book entitled, I Am Not My Skin. Alicia, thank you for joining us here on Fox 8. Appreciate you coming in today. Thank you for having me. We are in the midst of Black History Month, and so I just want to ask you this question. Uh, why is the celebration of Black History important to you? It's a great question. Black History is important not just for African American adults, but mm -hmm. also African American children. Mm -hmm. It's very important that they understand their heritage. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, Black History is American history, right, right. and it's important that they understand the resilience and how their ancestors persevered mm -hmm. and how resourceful they are mm -hmm. and that they understand that that is within them as well mm -hmm. so that they can live that out and be an example of it and which kind of brings us to your, your book I am not my skin first of all tell me about the title I am not my skin what do you mean by that well so many people think that African Americans that that's it that's the period end of sentence. Mm -hmm. But there's so much more to us than just the beautiful different hues of our skin. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to go beyond the outside and look at the inner the inner self. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a book of affirmations, and you're a teacher. Yes, and yes. So, so this is kind of, you know, right down your alley, but it's a book of affirmations. And want to take a look at some of the things you have in your book. Uh, first of all, you have these great affirmations, and I like this one right here. Tell me about this one right here. What does that say? I am a leader, right? Yes, yeah. I am a leader. So it's important that children understand that regardless of their age, they can be a leader, even if it means just being a leader amongst their peers, mm -hmm. being able to stand out, mm -hmm. understand that whether you're in the classroom, whether you're on the basketball court, mm -hmm. the football field, mm -hmm. that you are a leader and to embrace that and to understand that. And then you also have like th uh, some leaders you may not know. Mm -hmm. you, you list the leaders on the other page uh, of, of, of that affirmation right there, which I think is great, by the way. And we're going to go to a second affirmation now. And this one says that, uh, wow, I am intelligent. That's a good message to children. Yes, they need to understand that everybody is good at something. Uh -huh. And so they need to embrace that intelligence. You know, like you said, I'm a teacher. I work at Warrensville Elementary. Yeah, and yeah. too many times I see that students don't believe in their own intelligence. And yeah. you see that come into play in the classroom. Yeah, yeah. And so they need to understand that they are intelligent and that yeah. these things they come across, they can do. You have a wonderful affirmation in the book. And uh, I'd like you to read that right now. This is, this is, this is a, it's a great affirmation challenge. Yes. If you could read that for me. Yes. So I challenge you today to make a promise that will last a lifetime. Start your days looking in the mirror, say an affirmation that will carry you to bedtime. Love yourself daily, no matter what the world may say. Know how truly special you are and never let your confidence sway. You are more than just your skin, more than America wants you, I, or the world to know. Never stop your shine for anyone. Never let anyone stop your show. I like it. I like it. That's good stuff. Now, this is your second book. Your first book is... Uh uh, Melaton Expressions. Yes. Talk about yes. this real quick. Well, I actually wrote that book during the pandemic. Okay. There was a lot going on with everyone being locked in the house. Mm -hmm. And so it was just an opportunity for me to write about my experience as an African American here in America. Mm -hmm. Talk about real quick, and this is the last question. Your, how did you how did you have this love? How did you come to, into this love for writing? Well, my mother is an English teacher, okay. so it's been instilled in me since birth. Mm -hmm. um, and I've always loved to write. It's just an expressive tool. Excellent. And it allows me to put myself on the page. And you're a wonderful poet. Yeah, I love, I love poetry. <laughs> yes, yes, that is my thing. All right, Alicia Edwards, thank you. First of all, if, if folks want to get this book, how should they do it? Oh, they can go to Amazon, and they can purchase both books off of Amazon. Okay, the first one is I Am Not My Skin. Yes. The second one, Melanin Expressions. Melanin Expressions, yes. On Amazon.com. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You know, it's always good to see you. Always good to see you. Looking forward to your next book. Oh, yes, I know, and it's I know in the workings. I know yes, you're it working is. right now. Yes, it is. Yeah, once again, thank you so much for joining us Thanks this morning. Thanks for having me.